Hey, what's up guys? YouTube, I am the Silver Guy, okay? And I've done a bunch of videos on how to get silver for free from Publix. You might want to check that out. Um, how to get silver for cheap. I have many, uh, many different ways about how to get silver, okay? And today, what I want to show you is this. When you walk into a thrift store, you're going to probably see a, like a ton of just whatever. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to be like, oh, it might be silver. You don't know what to buy. You don't know what the marks are. And there's so many marks. It might be a pig's head. Oh, what does that mean? It might be someone on the throne. Well, that's English silver. What about 950? That's, um, that's English silver as well. Okay, that's like the sterling. But um, there's so many marks. If you don't know what, is go what to look for or even how to look at them, and some of this, it gets tarnished and you don't really know. So I'm going to come here and I can show you a way to quickly find the marks on this. Okay, so here's something that you might find at a Goodwill or a thrift store. So what you do is you want to take this and you want to turn it in the light. Do you understand? See like that. So you're, you turn it, and what's going to happen is you're going to see the, the, if there's writing on it, it can help you see it quicker. So if we're turning it, okay, can you see that right there? So let me zoom in here. or look come in here closer, and what should we want to see? Okay, that says Onita. Okay, it is not, this is not uh, sterling. Now, there could be marks up on the edge. There could be marks, you know, somewhere on the, on the handles. So if you want to hold that for me, sir. Come over here closer to me, please. So, I mean, when you're looking at this, you got to be careful because there could be marks almost anywhere. And sometimes on a, like a silver plate or a platter, like there might be marks here, 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 and maybe even here. Okay. So what one thing that you look for, so that's not silver. One thing you look for is you look for 925. Okay. That means sterling. That means out of a thousand parts, 925 of those parts are silver and the rest is copper. Okay. Um, it can be 950. It can say sterling. It can say stir. It can say STG. There is a ton of stuff. It might say 900. That's coin silver. Basically, that's the uh, same thing as like coins, 90% silver. So there's just so much. So 990, be very careful of that. Some stuff from other countries might be 80 something percent silver. So this, I can just tell, I mean, it's so like, it feels cheap. You can see rust coming. Um, this is absolutely not silver. Okay, put that here. Now guys, um, so here we, we take this right here and I can just tell this is, this is definitely not silver. Um, so we just kind of spin it in the light and we look and then there we go. So basically guys, I want you to get is when you're in a thrift store, sometimes it's dark. You just want to kind of like reflect it in the light like this and wait until like right there. Boom. Okay. That is the key because this silver gets really, really tarnished. Okay. Onita, that is not it either. So guys, when you're in the thrift store, remember another thing to look for is look for wear marks. Can you see the copper showing through right here? This is silver plate with copper coming through, okay, where it's been sitting down. That is a big giveaway, guys, that this is not silver. So, can you see this? If I'm doing this, can you see it? Can you, sh can you see it? It's right there. See that? Boom. See how the light makes it show up? Right there. W.M. Rogers. Okay. It does not say Sterling Stir STG 950. Also, there's a line with his right paw raised, a walking line with his right paw raised. That's another one. Um, so here we go. And I mean, this is just obviously metal, but we can just do it just for to show you. Just kind of go like this. I don't even know. This thing is so cheap. I don't even know if it even has writing on it. Okay. No. Now guys, I want you to know that if you found something like this, okay, and it was sterling, it would be like, you know, hitting like the jackpot. Okay. I've actually been in Goodwill and I found a platter for $3.99. If my memory serves me correctly, so it was probably around four twenty-five with tax, and it was sterling. It was a huge platter. Okay, so you really want to pay attention to these platters. Okay, and w one thing that you want to like look at when you're going for silver is like how how detailed is it? Does the detail just jump out at you? Does it look at like something you know really spectacular? So we take this. You can kind of you know don't forget to do the light this way too as you look at it. And then you can look for wear marks in here, okay? Where there might have been stuff sitting on it. You look look at the scratch marks. Is you know, see if there's like um, copper or brass showing through the, the scratch marks. Also, guys, remember, there is such a thing as white brass. Okay, if you have silver and then white brass, you might just, you know, it look like there's a scratch or something, you might think it's still silver. Okay. So what we're doing is we're going, can you see this? You go do the light like this. And can you see right here? Can you see that? See when you catch the light to it right there? What does that say? It says silver on copper. Can you see that? So guys, that means it is copper. 
Okay, now if you could get this for cheap enough, you might be able to buy it for the copper. Also, a quick tip, guys, if you had map gas, you could actually melt the silver off, but then you have a, a cost because you had the map gas that you had to pay for. You know, propane, I don't think it gets quite hot enough. So here's another one, guys. Um, so we look at this, you look for wear marks, you turn it in the light, look for anything that jumps out of you, like, you know, that might be like you're writing on it. Okay, any wear marks, anything. Also, guys, look for corrosion. That's another sign. Okay. But just remember that there might be, you know, it might look a slightly corroded if it's like a lower grade silver, okay? So right here, can you see this? Can you look at this as you're going and you're spinning it in the light and you're looking? Can you see that right there? Right here, WM Rogers, okay? So guys, this is not sterling either, okay? Also guys, sometimes you'll see something like this. Now obviously this looks, this is probably like aluminum or something, but. Sometimes you'll see something like with a base like this in silver, and it'll say sterling weighted. Guys, what that means is there's like a little wrap of sterling about as thick as a, you know, Coca-Cola can, like around plaster, and it's got metal in there and stuff. So it's not, don't get all excited if it feels like a pound, and you think you bought a pound of silver, because it's very, it's about an ounce, like a candlestick or something, it's like an ounce. So guys... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please do a comment. You know, if you have any questions or whatever, I've been doing silver and gold for many years, okay? Many different ways, okay? Um, if you like it, please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.